Hi, in today's video you're going to learn some house vocabulary. A bungalow is a small house that only has one level or story. A detached house is a bit similar to a bungalow, but it's bigger and it has more than one story. So there is a staircase. Detached means it's not connected to other buildings. A semi-detached house shares a wall with another similar house. Terraced houses are very popular in the United Kingdom. They are joined together along their side walls so that they create a row, a line. A cottage is a small house in the countryside. They're usually one or two storeys high and their walls are quite sturdy, which means thick and solid. A mansion is a huge expensive house. Mansions are luxurious and spacious and they're usually owned by rich people. Studio flats, on the other hand, are much more affordable. A studio is a small flat, usually with one room and a bathroom and sometimes a separate kitchen. You wouldn't say a studio is very spacious, but it's a good choice if you're on a budget. A tenement is a large old building that is divided into individual flats. Bangalow Bangalow Detached house Detached house Semi-detached house Semi-detached house Terraced houses Terraced houses Cottage Cottage Mansion Mansion Studio flat Studio flat Tenement Tenement A bunk bed is a type of bed in which two beds are connected vertically so one is above the other. A small table that we often keep at the side of a bed is called a bedside table. A cradle is a bed for a baby. It's very small and you can usually rock it, which means you can move it from side to side. Speaking of rocking, one of the most popular toys for children is a rocking horse. But it's not only children who enjoy rocking. If you're an adult or an elder, you probably find rocking chairs and their gentle motion quite relaxing. A chest of drawers is where you can keep your underwear or clothes and a piece of furniture used to store books is called a bookcase. A worktop is a flat surface, especially in a kitchen. You can prepare your food on it. Bunk bed Bunk bed Bedside table Bedside table Cradle Cradle Rocking horse Rocking horse Rocking chair Rocking chair Chest of drawers Chest of drawers Bookcase Bookcase Worktop Worktop Let's start with kitchen appliances. The device that you use to cook food is called a cooker. The top part of a cooker is called a hob and the part with the door is called an oven. A fridge is where you store food at low temperatures and a dishwasher is this lovely piece of equipment that washes your dirty plates and cups. Now what can we find in a bathroom? A washing machine is a machine that washes your clothes and a tumble dryer is a machine that dries them. 
A device that heats water is called a boiler or a hot water cylinder. A radiator is this metal object on a wall that heats your room. Cooker Cooker Fridge Fridge Dishwasher Dishwasher Washing machine Washing machine Tumble dryer Tumble dryer Boiler Boiler Hot water cylinder Hot water cylinder Radiator Radiator Home decor is everything that makes a home more attractive. Furniture, accessories, colours and the way that objects are arranged. In a bathroom, you can hang a nice shower curtain or place a cute rug on your bathroom tiles. To decorate your bed, get some decorative cushions and a soft blanket. If you want to add life to a room, decorate it with plants. Plants are great. Not only do they make your space look better, but they also boost your mood. To make your living room look nicer, you can hang beautiful curtains. You can also invest in a piece of art, a painting, a picture or a sculpture. But remember, less is more. You don't want to clutter your house with too many useless knickknacks. Shower curtain Shower curtain Rug Rug Cushion Cushion Blanket Blanket Plant Plant Curtain Curtain Piece of art Piece of art. Knickknacks. Knickknacks. A spacious house or room is quite big with a lot of space. The opposite of that is cramped. It's not easy to move in a cramped room because there is just not enough space. If a room is untidy and there are a lot of things, you can say it's Cluttered. Dingy means dark and dirty, and if something is dilapidated, it's very old and in bad condition. A drafty place is quite unpleasant because of currents of cold air blowing through it. Welcoming spaces are cozy and tidy, and if something looks a bit strange and old fashioned, you can say it's quaint. Spacious, spacious, cramped, cramped, cluttered, cluttered, dingy, dingy, dilapidated, dilapidated, drafty, drafty. Welcoming, welcoming, quaint, quaint. Thanks for watching. 
Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel to be up to date with my English lessons. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!